What, what, what a beautiful day. I want to remind you why nothing, <laughs> nothing, can I get that through your thick skull? My bad if I'm calling you out. Nothing can stop you, okay? All these things that we like to throw in as excuses and we like to ride it and let it justify our limits. But we not justifying limits right now no more because the abundance is real. Comment that down below. If you feel, let's feel it intentionally on purpose. No more lack. Nothing can stop you. By the end of this video, I want you to feel that in your spirit and never let go of that feeling again. Hang on to it on a daily basis and watch how it impacts your actions and what you do with your time, which is very vital and very important. Okay? Nothing. 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 We have the internet. We're in this day and age. We talk about abundance and creating abundance in your life. We have this beautiful thing called the internet. And I know a lot of you. Is this for you today? Say this for me if this is for you today. Listen, it's a beautiful day. Put a smile on. Say cheese. Lighten up. As we raise the frequencies, we're going to tap into some truth. We're going to unpack some of these blocks, some of these things that could be holding you back from flourishing. You feel me? This beautiful thing called the internet, but I know a lot of you holding holding yourselves back because of the critic, the inner critic. And we want to let go of that inner critic and get creative. Less critical, more creative. Continue to produce and get things out so that you can test the waters and you can analyze and figure it out along the way. Because if you're just waiting for every green light to turn green down the high or down the road before you go you'll never get to that next light the light is green right now the time is now dude j just do it nike so simple but so well said you feel me do you feel me now i hope you feel me on this listen this is the thing something sparked this and it had to do with Creating content, first of all, how powerful that is and what that can do for you in your life, even if you don't like your face in the camera, whatever it is. But it had to do with creating content and somebody brought something to my attention. But the idea of like allowing whatever you don't have, however you feel like you should look, whether it's your wardrobe, your style, your uh, makeup, whatever it might be, ladies. I know how you, uh, you feel. You feel like you got to do it up every time. Listen, showing up is better than always having to do it up. Showing up consistently will build you and get you to where you... It'll connect you to the right people who accept you for you. And maybe we're not used to being accepted for who we are. But creating content has really allowed me to really tap into that part of me and embrace it and love it just like you may love it the more i feel the love and i'm like oh people love me for me i can be more me and less critical and more creative on a daily basis and i'm excited to show up and show value for people who value me you feel me if you find some value up in here and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button we here just about every single day the most consistent most committed community on yeah Oh, let do it. Let's talk about it, though. Let's talk about it because there's a lot of people that will end up not ever posting or not ever promoting their brand or their sales or whatever it is, their business, their music. Come on now. Let's go. My young, aspiring entrepreneurs, you got this. You can do it. Young, old, whatever you might consider yourself as. We're just here and just being and just you got this. You know, something's holding you back and you feel like, man, I got to get such and such and so and so. You know how many pieces of content I put out with just like no shirt and <laughs> just a bandana? Something so simple. Whereas I got friends who maybe be worrying about, man, I ain't got the drip right today, man. Oh, man, I'm looking like, oh, I got to go to the barber shop. Oh, I got to get my hair corn rolled, twist, twisty, oh, blue, wow, 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 blah, blah, blah. You feel me? Man, I got the same old clothes. I need something. Man, forget all of that. Go in a t-shirt. 
t-shirt in your man you know you know i mean unless that's the type of channel you got going on maybe you're on of over there you know whatever but no judgment by the way but the less judgment the more creativity let it flow let it glow let it grow get active you don't need it to be perfect you just need to get started get going one of my bros that i will always admire how he moves he has his slogan, nothing gets done without action. And I've literally seen him put this into play, be very intentional with how he moves. And nothing gets done without action. He will do things. He will flop. He doesn't mind putting it out, even if it's for clients. He testing the waters, trying to see how it is. He doing it, though. He not going to let his lack of knowledge or his lack of resources or whatever stop him. And that was always admirable to me. And I feel it even more now, today. It's like, yo, just do stuff. Just like put it out. When it comes to music artists, if you're holding on to it, let it go. The market will tell you what's right and what you need to focus on, what you need to do more of. And the thing is, creativity is limitless. It's unlimited how much you can create. That's why I've never been worried about how many songs I put out. I probably have... I don't know, maybe 70 songs out right now, including both of the albums, right? And all the singles. Maybe somewhere in all the all the features too, right? And some of them probably aren't the most perfect song, the most well mixed and mastered, but it's out there. Some people loving it, some people enjoying it. One of my the first song I actually released on all platforms, Mood. People love that song. I don't remember who mixed it, but I know it wasn't the most, you know, polished what we got going on now today, right? Even my vocals and where I felt like I was as an artist and how good I thought I might have been or not, I put it out. I did it. Somebody explained something to me that was very important. Like, man, if you would have never just showed up and put it, oh, my, my guy fished you if you would have never just put it out, man, we would have never been able to receive that abundance, receive that feeling that you was feeling. <clears throat> that call that you answered we glad you answered that call because now we receiving you know value from you just doing it and putting it out there and being you and being comfortable in your skin or uncomfortable and just going forward with it anyway there it is that's the that's the secret right there get comfortable being uncomfortable do things analyze your data as you go you'll figure it out and you'll get better but if you don't start, I promise it'll always be a I'll get to it type of thing. And then it just becomes out of sight, out of mind. Or it gets moved further and further back in your mind. And next thing you know, you don't feel that same feeling. You don't feel the momentum. You don't feel the urge and the desire as much no more because it's not at the forefront. Because you're not active. Let's get active. You got this. Get started. No excuses. No, oh, I don't this, I don't that. Let's move. And if it come down to this content thing, we talk about abundance. You talk about creating extra sources of income. If you even got a hint of wanting to, you know, be some type of in the internet making money some type of way, get into it. Don't wait. The time is now. You have the time. What did you do with your time today? One thing we can all do better at is auditing our days, our time, how we spent every minute. Was it valuable? Was it in alignment with your higher self, that future you that you see and visualize yourself as? Are you visualizing? Check that visualization meditation on my channel here. Tap in. It'll really get you closer. Closer to your dreams. I love that for you. You feel me? But get tapped and get aligned. And once you get tapped and aligned in the mind, the actions follow. And then the abundance follows because you're creating. And the more you create... The more seeds you plant, the more things sprout. The more you create, the more you create. You were created by the creator to create. So keep creating. We love to see it. You'll find your tribe. Your tribe will find you. They will ex express how happy they are that you decided to take action and stop holding on and waiting. But creating the abundance in your life the abundance is real if you haven't already put that in the comments come on tap in share this with a friend who could use this message let's go you got one of them friends i got some of them friends i'm like come on bro 
I see so much potential in you. Oh, I see the talent. I see the skills. I just need to see that consistency. I know you can do it. When you need a coach, I could come on. Call me. Call 